The next principle is decisions are made at the margin. And this is really what we were talking about a minute ago. We are talking about choices, you know, changes and incentives don't affect everybody, but they clearly affect people. So let me get out of the way what we're talking about by marginal decision making. Suppose that you went to a fast food place and your plan was to get a hamburger and a drink, and let me see if I can make up some quick numbers. So, and say the hamburger's a dollar, the drink is a dollar, but you look up and there's value meal number six that has a hamburger, a drink, and french fries, and it's 225. Tell me how you phrase that question to yourself. Thank you so much. This is human nature, human decision making at its finest. We do things at the margin. Is there, do you see 25 cents up here at all written on the board? No. What we did was the following. We looked at the cost of A versus the cost of B and took the difference, the change. Wow, I'm throwing stuff around. Took the change. So the total cost of this is 2. That's 225. The subtraction there is 25 cents. Moving from this to this increases my cost by 25 cents. But what about the, that's the cost side. What about the benefits? Well, before I get a hamburger and a drink, those are common to both. What's left is the difference is the french fries. We did math. We took the change in the cost and the change in the benefit. And this is the way people make decisions is by looking at margins not at totals. And this is why the whole thing about when talking about taxes influencing people or the price of chicken, we're always changing these marginal incentives. And it's these marginal incentives that matter. And when we get uh, into the tax theory uh, part of the course, which comes later with a different speaker, when we talk about the difference between marginal and average tax rates, remember this. I mean, it's marginal tax rates that really matter. It's things are decided at the margin. The additional cost versus the additional benefit. Note that the human decision here is the exact same as if the following was true. Suppose the hamburger and drink had each been $2, and this was $4.25. Notice that the decision is still the same. It's $4 versus 425. Are the fries worth 25 cents? That's why looking at marginal and calculating margins is so important in economics.